Hi. We are going to be looking at a 120 chart. The numbers on the chart get become higher as you move from the left to the right and from the top to the bottom. We can move by ones, just going up one, two, three, four, five, but we can also use the 100 chart to help us skip count. Let's try it. I'm going to start on two. I'm going to put my little bunny here on two. Now, when I skip, I'm going to skip over three and land on four. Then I'm going to skip again, skip over four and sorry, skip over five and land on six. Skip counting by twos. When we, sorry, when we just skip one, skipping over one number, we are counting by two. So I'll show you how. We're going from two, skipping over three, and landing on four. Two to four. We just added two more. Then when we go from four to six, we add two more. So skip counting by twos is just like adding by twos. We can also skip count by fives. Let's try it. Start on five. Now what if we skip all the way over to 10? One, two, three, four, five. Land on 10. Let's skip another five. One, two, three, four, five. 15. One, two, three, four, five. 5, 20, oh, look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hey, look at this pattern. Our second digit is a 0, then a 5, then a 0, then a 5. We have a pattern when we skip count by 5s. I wonder if we'll have a pattern. That means we'll have a pattern when we skip count by tens. What do you think? Make a prediction. Let's start at 10. And we'll skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Went down to 20. Skip another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30. What do you think the next number is going to be? 10, 20, 30. If you guessed 40, you're correct. I bet you can already see the pattern. Now, we don't always have to go forward on a 100 chart. We can also go backward. Let's start at 120. And I want to skip down two. So I'm going to go from 120 to 118. Now, 118 is a smaller number than 120. I just subtracted 2 by going backwards on the 100 chart. Let's try from 10. If I went backwards, I'm going to skip count down 2 and went from 10 to 8. So that means that 10 went down two, I skipped down two, and went landed on eight. So I used the 100 chart to show me that 10 minus two is eight. So this chart we can use to help us with skip counting forwards and backward. So when we go forward, we are adding numbers. When we go backward, we are subtracting. This week, we are going to do a lot of things with the 100 chart and the 120 chart. Have a great week. Bye.